<laughs> oh, that's what that's what happens when you've been together too long. You become predictable. Today we are in Idaho and we are headed to see the Shoshone Falls and the Idaho Falls. I mean, Twin Falls. Excuse me. So we're gonna take you guys along with us and hopefully we'll have a good time and take some pictures and show you some wonders of nature that you don't get to see if you live on the East Coast, which is a pity because it is such beauty out here. We have been discovering some really beautiful places and beautiful things. If you guys want to check out our last video when we went to... In two miles, take exit 173 for US 93 South toward Twin Falls. That's the instructions because we don't know where we are. But when we went to the Grand Tetons, you can check that out. That was absolutely beautiful. I suggest maybe going in the summer so you can really, really experience everything. But this time we went and I absolutely love it. Last time we were there, we went in the summer and we did the hike and the whole nine. So let's start this intro and get to the falls. Okay, you guys, we made it to Shoshone Falls, which is our first stop today. And it's $5 to park here. And if you're driving your RV or bus or anything like that, just look at paying $20 at the gate before you get in. Um, super excited. <clears throat> um, if you are driving your camper, I would recommend it's all down here to get in there. I wouldn't do it. Unless you have an RV that you can drive. And even then, not a very big one. Vans will probably be fine, but I wouldn't bring my camper through here. And that's just FYI. So if you could park it or leave it at your site, this is not a place I would want to stop if I was on the road and I was towing my camper. But we're here, so let's get out and see some sights. All right, you guys, we made it to the falls. And I don't know if you could hear it or not, but it is definitely rushing super excited to take you to see it noodles is getting out of the car daddy's putting them in the book bag and we're gonna start our walk it looks like they do a little bit of a light show here at night then maybe they light up the falls because there is some lighting equipment right behind me over the falls if you can see it there is hiking trails out here we'll probably try to take the one over here to a little smaller fall we'll look and see you about that so right now let's go this way it's a beautiful day out and like I said we're in Idaho and it is gorgeous um, really excited to get closer and get some pictures I got my camera yeah let's get going okay so right away you see the big rocks, the bigger field, which is the falls. So worth the drive. Drive a little bit was only like 15 minutes. So our drive was only like 15 minutes to get here, so it wasn't a bad drive. I lost my microphone, so you'll have to excuse me, but there you go. So let's take a panoramic view.
Okay, you guys, we are going to keep going on our walk. I apologize for the water over my voice. Like I said, I forgot my mic. Oh my goodness. But anyway, this is another vantage point of the water. It is absolutely amazing. And there you go. Down the canal. On the other end of that is like a park area on the other side. I think you could go down and look at it. Uh, like I said, there's another down over there. We're going to go take a look at the different falls. It is so gorgeous out here. It's chilly. I'm glad I put pants on and my sweater because I started to wear some shorts. But it is amazing. And so here comes Cedric with Noodle. Noodle has been making, like, living his best life as far as um, taking trips is concerned. He has been, oh my goodness, I'm trying to learn this thing. And I'm doing a terrible job. Here he is, Noodle. I told Daddy, get your blanket. Look at him. He's so cool, but he's such a good sport. Um, so we're gonna head back up and over to the other overlook and take a look at that. Uh, this that is absolutely gorgeous. I really did enjoy that. It's such a beautiful sight. All right, let's get to the other side. Okay, back up the stairs. We're gonna go to the other side. All right. So, this is one of these places that you can come and picnic, call a wonderful Sabbath afternoon gathering, right? So picnic, take a little walk, and just enjoy. It's its own attraction. So it is one of those things where you get out the car and you're like, that's cool. Everybody back in the car. But they do have trails. A few people are taking the trails. And they're strategically placed. And because of the elevation of where we are, woo. It'll get you, <laughs> but it's just a matter of adjusting to it. But we were in Ely, we were at almost 7,000 feet. So we had to get used to that. And I think we're right about there, give or take here. So, all right, let's take a look at our new view. Okay, so the view is kind of the same, but just from different angles. So this is from up here. And then you can see the smaller one out there in the distance. Too bad you can't walk over there. It looks like you should be able to, but I don't see anybody down there. So I'm just assuming that they don't want you to. And over there, that's where we were. Right up there. And so, the falls, everybody. <laughs> okay, now we made it back up the hill and we're seeing a path in front of us. I'm not sure where it goes, but we're gonna check it out. And like all good parks and falls and anything historic or beautiful, they have placards to kind of tell you about it, how it was found, how it was formed, and uh, you can check out some information. It is called the Niagara of the West. And we've been to Niagara Falls, so I can, I can uh, identify with that. So some information here, some pictures about the falls. Idaho's little hidden gem. One day I hope my photography is displayed somewhere cool, telling the story. All right, we're gonna keep going. Let's see where this, this little trail takes us. We'll go as far as we can, depending on where it's going. All right, 
Honesty. Give you some views of what we just saw over there. It's just a different angle. Super cool. And there's a hiking trail up there. Won't be taking that. Dangerous cliff. If you love your dog, you'll leash them. So I'm not really into dangerous cliffs. So we'll go until it's not safe anymore. Meanwhile, we're checking out the views. So it keeps giving us different angles of the falls. Here we go again. It's a beautiful picture. Look at that. How cool is that? Some more pathways up. Who is crazy enough to hike up in there? It's people who do it and enjoy it and love it. I'm just not one of them. I'm sorry. I guess I could be. You saw in my other video, I got my hiking sticks. So I guess I could do it if I felt adventurous enough. Maybe I need to build up my stamina, lose a pound or two, and practice before I just get lost in the woods. Oh man, guys, look. An even better obstructed, un 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 unobstructed view. It's not obstructed. It's cool. So, let's keep going. It's a little muddy. Just need to watch our step. Alright. We're going to keep going as far as we can. I don't know. It's looking a little iffy. It's like it's going down. And then we got to come back up. Because there's people right behind me. You see that? Way over there. I don't know if we're going that far. We'll see. Oh, all right, let's see what the trail looks like. We went from paved to dirt. Let's get on the safer side. Oh, okay. So that's what those hikes up take you over there. Hmm. Because we're at a dead end here and here. So I guess that's where it goes. Do I need to get over there to see the same thing that's over there? I think not. But it is cool though. There's another one fall in there. Can't see it from this end. So I guess those are the trails that take you over there. I don't think I'm ready for those trails yet, but one day, okay, I promise. Meanwhile, hit that subscription button and follow our journey and the notification bell. So when we end up someplace cool, you can go with us and you can say, Erica, what are you doing out there? And I can say, I don't know. Just trying to live my best life. But anyway, Hit that notification bell so you can be with me at the falls and seeing all this beauty because you never know where I'm going to end up. I've been so many cool places and I want you to go with me because you just never know what might happen. So let's keep going with our day. See what else we can find. 
Okay, you guys, we made it to the next stop, which is Twin Falls. I don't know if this is as impressive as the other one, but we're going to go check it out and see. Okay, you guys, I was slightly wrong. This is super cool, and so I will show it to you. It doesn't have as many as the other one we just saw, but it definitely has its own charm. This one is owned by the Army Corps, but it's beautiful too. And this one is Twin Falls. We're at Twin Falls. The other one was Shoshone Falls, and this one is Twin Falls. All right. I'm not sure what else we're going to do today, but let's get moving because this is it. Okay, guys, we are noticing that Idaho's pretty nice. It's got some nice little views. It's a regular city like another city. Sometimes you go to these places and you're thinking, you know, everything is tumbleweed and, and desert, but it's, it's pretty decent. Since we got through here, I've been really impressed with the views uh, when we left Jackson Hole in Wyoming we came through the Tarje, Tarji, Tarji National Forest um, on the south side coming east and man that view was absolutely gorgeous the water was still frozen in some places and it had that aqua look just like it did at Tetons and it was beautiful. I got some pictures of that and I'll drop some in at the end of this video. Um, as we were crossing over the bridge headed to Shoshone Falls, we saw another little area which is where we're headed to now. You saw that we just left Shoshone Falls and Twin Falls and there is this deep canyon that we're going to end this video at and it is so cool. They have an overlook where you can get out of the car safely off the side of the road it's like a pullover um, with a divider so you don't have to worry about like trying to get out in traffic and you can walk across the bridge and take a look at the canyon overlook and it is amazing so we're going to drive down into the canyon because they have a place where you can take a look at that and go from there um I wish I would have had the camera turn around if I didn't know it was going to pull through the little pull through, but we're going to go down there so we'll be able to see it from there. So let's get down into the canyon. Okay, we stopped to the visitor center because all good roads lead to the visitor center and you can find out some information as well about the area. Uh, I want you to take a look at this bridge that we just came off of that has the overlook I was just telling you about. You would absolutely love that. And the architecture of that bridge is amazing. And I overuse the word amazing, but it's because I see a lot of amazing stuff. And so, man, guys, the United States is such a beautiful place. I know a lot of people feel like they have to leave the country in order to see beautiful things, but that's not true because this place is amazing right here. It has some amazing views. Oh, man, the Lord has really blessed us with beautiful sights and things that we can look at and love and so i just want to take you with me so make sure you subscribe and if you would love to show your support i'll put the information in the description you can become a part of our traveling family all right let's turn around and get these views let's start with the architecture of this bridge now i love that i can't wait to get a picture of that and the rock kind of remind me of St. George, has that lava rock look. But this is the canyon. It's pretty deep down there too, guys. Here, let's look. Wow. I'm trying to figure out how do you get down there to the canyon? There's definitely a road that, that goes down there. We're going to find out where that road is. But wow, let's, let's zoom out a little. Now I want you to get the full picture. Look at that. And this canyon extends all the way through to where we saw the Shoshone Falls. So it, it goes pretty, pretty deep. And it is super cool. 
All right, let's get into business. Okay, you guys, one quick thing. Remember this bridge I just showed you? There are people who are jumping off of it. And there they are over there getting ready with their hiking gear to jump off. And some of them are climbing up. That is crazy. There's no way. I love a good adventure, but not jumping off bridges. Oh man, that is crazy. Let's walk over there and see what's going on. <clears throat> Investigate a little more. They they got guts. I could tell you that. They got some real guts. I was just standing next to a gentleman that was just telling me that people were jumping <laughs> jumping off that bridge. Oh my goodness. And they just hiked back up. And it says that they do it right here. Oh my goodness. They're parachuting off of this bridge. You people are very adventurous. <laughs> very, very adventurous. Goodness. And then they climb from down there back up here so let's go see it very very adventurous and so this path goes to the other side we could take a look and then i promise we'll head it to the the um gift shop area i told cedric to come on but i guess he thought uh you see what visitors here <laughs> you see them all he didn't think I would be over here, but he'll come eventually. Look at that. They climbed from down there to up here. Insane. Wow. And then you could keep walking all the way over to the other side of the canyon. There's a little walk overlook. Now we are under the bridge. Let's get some pictures. Okay, we made it back up to the gift center. And so now, we're getting ready. They are putting up their parachutes, you guys. Because they just finished jumping off the bridge. That is so cool, but crazy all at the same time. But, alright, let's keep going. Oh man beautiful day I see Cedric stirring he might be finna get out yeah he finally got out I told him to get out can't wait to tell him what we just saw okay I just told Cedric so he walked down there to go see but I'm getting ready to ask these guys are they getting ready to jump off that bridge are you getting ready to jump off that bridge over there Oh my goodness, can I talk to you for a second and ask why? Why not? Because <laughs> it's there, I don't know. <sighs> so why in the world would you jump off a bridge? Because it's there, and they let us, they don't arrest us, so. Why? Really? Yeah. I saw a little placard over there yeah. that that was a thing. Yeah, it's the only I've... spot in uh, the United States besides one other bridge really? that's legal to jump. I yeah, bet all you the that other is ones a legal. serious rush. It's definitely fun. But then the climbing up. Eh, you gotta get a walk in sometime, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you be safe. Thank you. I hope Have I a get a one. chance to catch that. That would be cool. All right, I'm not that adventurous, but maybe one day, who knows? All right, let's go in. Okay, like any gift shop should, there's t-shirts and brochures. Oh, that's a little bit more information about the Bonneville flood. I would love to see that. That looks super cool. They got a huge wagon here. That's cool. The Shoshone Falls Rock Creek Station, Contact Nevada. U.S. Mail. No wonder I haven't got my mail yet. How cool. So rock climbing is a thing. Jumping off the bridges into the. It's going good. Hiking, climbing, 
Super cool. All right. Oh, Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve. I wonder how far that is from here. All right, I'm gonna ask. Some beautiful pictures. Oh, now that looks fun. I went river rafting for my 40th birthday. And you can check out that video. It is such a rush, man. It is so much fun, I'm telling you. Okay, so this is what they're getting ready to do out there. That and that. All right, I'm gonna finish up looking around and I will close this video out outside. Okay, you guys, we made it to our last stop, which we are down in the canyon. We were just up on the bridge area, and now we are in the canyon where we're going to end our video. We're going to thank you guys for watching this video all the way through and following our journey since we started full-time RVing almost two years ago and still going strong. And we really appreciate all of your likes all of your shares all of your love all of your support so thank you thank you thank you thank you and so we're headed up here so we can have a cool goodbye so i'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see these last minute views before we sign off Okay, we're at the top. And so, we're gonna run up this one. So we can get the best view. So we can say goodbye. Okay, see you guys. I made it from down there trucks over there somewhere but i did it in the next video you guys see ya